Hello, my name is uh, Victor. I'm a consultant, a professor from Spain. I'm talking to you from Madrid in Spain. I'm probably born in Spain. I was born in Ceuta. I've lived all over Spain uh, for my entire life. My first memories are from Barcelona, where I was uh, not born by race. One of my sisters was born there. Uh, and I feel that today I have to talk to some of my international friends, some of my followers in social media and some of my, what I call my international family of friends and family. Uh, you know what, I have to explain something about what's being said in international media about Spain. And I'm sorry I have to do it myself because uh, you're not getting right, in the right information from uh, mainstream media. So I thought that, oh, well, what the heck, let's do a little video to explain things. Number one. Do you know that Franco is dead? Yep. Fresh news. Franco died 42 years ago this next month of November. I was five years old when he was dead and when he died. Uh, and you know what? Franco's history. So anybody who's referencing anything about Spain regarding Franco is like talking about Philip II or uh, Big King Charles V, uh, the, the Emperor. That's all history. Spain is a totally different country. It's a country that is growing in totally new ways and Franco basically is that those that keep reminding us that Franco was part of our history they are doing politics today based on what happened 40 50 years ago so first news whatever you hear about Franco uh, that's over second uh, very important you know what Spain is a democracy it's been for a long time Spain is one of the top countries in the world in, 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 in global income and not only that, it's a free democracy. Uh, it's, a, it's a free democracy as it was voted. I didn't even vote because I was too young uh, in, a, in a constitution that was voted mostly by most people. I, members of my family vote for it and most members of my family vote against it. So, but it was accepted that those are the rules of engagement that we have now. On, and, and, and those are the, the rules of engagement that we have for our day-to-day -day basis. And they seem to be working, obviously. Things can be changed, but uh, we have a legal system that is solid, that it uh, makes uh, the separation of the different powers, like any of you know and any of you have in your, in your countries. So that's good news. Uh, so we are a democracy. The bad thing is that uh, we're seeing a lot of people saying things about Spain, uh, sometimes without even knowing. Let me check this one out because I'm trying to say something that bit saying, that say that Spain is somehow fighting Catalonia. Well, you know what? Catalonia has been an essential part of Spain for the best of, uh, well, basically in all, all our history. When the Romans got here, they called Hispania, the whole uh, peninsula. Um, basically, Spain has been a common uh, destiny since the uh, Catholic kings, if you want to talk about history. But basically, Catalonia is Spain because a lot of people, a vast majority of people in Catalonia feel Spanish. Like uh, only two, a couple of weeks ago, I was happy to visit Barcelona and take part in a big demonstration where over a million people uh, took to the streets with Spanish and Catalonian flags to show that it's perfectly compatible to be Catalonian and to be a Spaniard, like many people have done naturally uh, over the years. Because you know, it's not a question about Catalonia. Spain is diverse. Spain has different food, different weathers, different peoples, different ethnicities, different ideas. And we're happy with that. We are a small continent. That's the best part of being a Spaniard is that being part of a small continent where you can be skiing in the morning and, and as some of you have done with me, and then take a bath in the sea in the afternoon. And we can do that. And that diversity, which is not only physical, geographical, uh, uh, it's also cultural. We have different languages. We have different ways of thinking things, of cooking. We have different things that make us special. And that's what I love about Spain, that I have to love every single corner of Spain. I have to love every single one of the little pieces that build up what Spain is all about. And Catalonia, you know what? For hundreds of years, it's been part of that building up, not that destroying. So when they tell you that Spain is somehow fighting Catalonia, let me tell you, it's basically some Catalonians trying to fight some other Catalonians that don't feel the same way. It's free to feel that you're different. Uh, feel free to say it. We have free speech. I would say this is a democracy, so you can say anything you want. But the thing is, uh, what's not right is to get people to fight each other. Regarding some recent activities, let me tell you something. Do this little experiment. I want you to go and grab a copy of your own constitution in your own country. Try to figure this one out. If you go out in a mob 
and hijack a member of the police, any police, the gendarmerie in France or any other uh, police body in the world, and you hijack them, you push them inside a building and keep them for hours, and then you destroy the uh, public property, those uh, vehicles that those uh, uh, policemen are using, what will happen to you? You'll be detained. You'll be taken in front of your judge and you would probably spend the night in jail. That didn't happen here a while but finally an independent judge in an independent uh, judicial system took someone to jail because they were committing not only a violent uh, situation that kept uh, policemen and members of the judiciary body uh, hijacked inside a building for hours without food or water but also destroying public property and also trying to secede to take a part of Spain apart from from the rest of Spain so that's unconstitutional that goes against our democracy and our constitution so that's why some people are going to jail nowadays in Spain like many people go to jail in any country in the world if they have committed a crime so if you commit a crime the thing is you're going to go to jail here in the United States in Britain in France anywhere in Europe you're going to be having that so if they tell you that we have political um, uh, prisoners here. The only political prisoners we have is in the sad times when we had terrorism here, when they're hijacking people, and uh, those were political prisoners. People being held because of their their ideas, or because they were uh, part of the military, or members of the Guardia Civil or the police. So to summary, um, I'd like you to understand that uh, what's going on now. It's something that's in your constitution. Now grab a copy of your own country's constitution and tell me, tell me if if it's not there. Uh, some mechanism to defend itself from someone who wants to disaggregate, to break up that country. And also I want you to look at the part where you have your territorial agreements and I want you to, I want to invite you to check the list, it's online in the Generalitat de Catalonia, you can find out the list of uh, activities that they can conduct in, in Catalonia and I want you to look at their list and I want you to take the look at your most independent, and most uh, uh, advanced uh, land system that you have, a lander in Germany, regions in France, uh, states in the United States, and check the list. And I bet you a pinch of the tortilla and a beer, uh, perhaps a wine if you're so inclined, that in not one single one of those constitutions are you going to be finding as such a long list of bullet points of things that that uh, local government has been uh, granted from the central government as Catalonia and many other regions in Spain have. So to summarize, and sorry to be so long, but this requires an explanation. Franco is dead. This is a democracy. When people commit crimes, they go to jail. That's normal. Take a look at your own constitution, and perhaps your own constitution, it's much harsher, it's much uh, centralized, much more centralized than the Spanish one is. That doesn't mean that we agree with that. We have movements, we have uh, ways. I myself uh, oppose the government in several of the points that are regarding their prison legality, and I, I play by the rules. I try to win an election, and if I don't, I go home, and I still have my free speech to record this video, uh, upload it to the internet, and send it to you. So, if you see any other information that's saying that Spain is not a democracy, that Franco is still ruling in Spain, and that we have political uh, uh, prisoners in Spain, don't buy that bullshit. That's bullshit. Remember, even if bullshit is well packaged, it's well packaged, it's still shit. Don't buy that shit. You're intelligent. The Spain is still the Spain is still open for business. Spain, Spain is totally open uh, to receive people. Spain is open, diverse, and is changing the world the best we can. Do what we always did, having fun, enjoying our lives, being free and being able to tell the world that we're here and that we're part of a wide community in the world of democratic countries. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about my time. I, this was kind of improvised, uh, but I wanted to make sure that you got a different message from the one that you're getting uh, nowadays from other social media or the big stream media. Thank you very much. Remember, we're here and we're expecting you to come and to live with us.